Our plan is to move in shelter boxes using the police service locally and they're going to have to actually carry these boxes physically all the way from the roadway for over three hours to get to where we need to be. Well, we walked an hour and a half this morning. We put up five tents. Now we're walking another two hours uphill over the valleys and every which way to put up another six. And we've got to walk all the way back again. As you can see, it's fairly rocky terrain. How was that for you, Angelo? Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh... Interesting crossing forwards like that every once in a while. Beautiful fellas! Very beautiful, highly Well, just as we thought we'd reached where we needed to go, we discover that we've got yet another headland to go over. Right at this point, we've been walking up some very rugged tracks. And we've come out onto this view where the countryside has suddenly opened out. Apparently, we're near the village. And, that, and that's what did all the damage. This is the camp we've trekked three hours to get to. And people were living down by the river and they've moved up near the people who've got houses. They've managed to build themselves some very temporary shelters, but nothing that gives them real protection from more rains or any other serious sun problem. Okay, this was a home before the monsoon came and it's now totally uninhabitable. Everything has completely fallen down. It's an idyllic spot in every other respect, but it really is not the place that we can help the family rebuild. So we're going to build a temporary arrangement over the other side on the land there. Go inside. Okay. okay, done.